crinkle neck and son of a bitch. Mr. Godburn? What is it? I'd like to talk to you a minute. What is it? They tell me you're a man with true grit. What's your name, girl? My name is Maddie Ross. We're located in Yale County. My mother's at home looking after my sister Victoria and my brother little Frank. I'd best go home to them. It's such a coveted role. It's the role of a lifetime. I mean, who, who wouldn't be attracted to it? She's a 14-year-old, tough, witty girl, and she has this goal, and she tells herself that she's not going to go on with life until she reaches her goal, and she goes for it. I um, came in at the very tail end of it all, and I was very fortunate to have gotten a final call. I was reading for the Coen brothers. I went in to the audition as Maddie Ross, what I felt was Maddie Ross. Um, my mom threw a outfit together for me last minute from Salvation Army and made me a burlap skirt the night before from Joann's. And uh, I, um, I f was felt really prepared and I was ready and it was, it was a good feeling. How much are you paying for cotton? Nine and a half for low middling and 10 for ordinary. We got most of ours out early and sold it to the Woodson Brothers in Little Rock for 11 cents. Well, then I suggest you take the balance of it to the Woodson Brothers. So it was like every day of that week, just sitting by the phone. And um, the phone rang, and my mom picks it up. And all I hear is, OK, OK, all right. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I didn't get it. And I'm just thinking to myself, this is, I can't believe this. And all of a sudden, my mom calls me down. She's like, Maddie Ross, there's somebody on the phone for you. So I'm just like, this feeling comes over me that oh, this is real. This is actually happening. So I run downstairs, my dad's taking pictures of me, everybody's on the phone, is screaming, and it was surreal. We shot in mainly Santa Fe, New Mexico, and Austin, Texas, and then a bunch of different places in Texas as well. I mean, I didn't get service on my phone at some times, but other than that, it was, it was, I loved it. The locations were absolutely beautiful, and I find that traveling is something that I really enjoy doing, and I'm so grateful that my job can take me places, because it's something I really enjoy doing now. Action. Stand up, Tom Cheney! Before I went on location, my dad took me to a shooting range, because I wanted to make sure that that was something I was familiar with, and, um, it was, it really helped because obviously I, I, it wasn't what I expected, but I didn't know what to expect. So, I mean, it, it really kicked me back, but that was good because on set filming that scene, there is no kick with the blank, but she gets, she falls back because of the kick of the gun. So it was, it was, it was really helpful. Well, I already knew how to horseback ride. I used to ride um, English a couple years ago. So just, uh, it was about two weeks before filming, just horseback riding lessons and trail riding and just stuff to, um, get back in the zone of Western riding. Is that Marshall Cogburn? So, you're the runaway. Marshall told me you'd show up. I'm to present you to the sheriff. That is a story. Let go of my horse. I have business across the river. The water was not cold. It was actually in the middle, it was it was a little cold, but not that bad. I had a wetsuit on under all my under all my clothes, so it wasn't that bad. I have to say, Joel did most of the talking, and what I love is like they're always making sure they're both okay with it. It's what do you think, Eth? I'm good. How about you, Joel? Like totally making sure everybody was happy with it. It's amazing to see the way they work. It's like. They don't even have to say anything to each other, but they're on—they're still on the same page. They were really flexible with um, any ideas that any of the actors had, and they were always, you know, wanted to make sure that I was happy with the take that we did, and they were always open. If I wanted to do another take or if I wanted to try something else, they were 100% open to do that. I mean, at the end of every day, it's like I, I, before I go to sleep, it's like I say to myself, do you realize what you just did today? And it's so... It's so amazing. It's, it's like I said, it's a lot to comprehend, and I'm just so, so blessed. And I, I thank the Lord every day for putting me where I am, and I am just, I'm so thankful, and I'm so happy, and I'm exactly where I want to be.